Okay, after we've reviewed the elements of plot in your star reading packet, then you're going to go do the IXL language art skills. You're going to do two. The first one is going to be fifth grade. So you're going to go to fifth grade. And it's going to be G2. So identify story elements. So what you're doing here is you're reading... Um, a story. This one's about the lighthouse keeper. And you're going to look, and this question is about the setting. So here he's fishing his boats from the dock. He was headed for the mainland for food and supplies. So what is the setting? A house in a modern day village by the ocean, a home on a lake during a thunderstorm, a lighthouse on an island in the days before electricity, or a tall tower on a riverbank. It's a lighthouse. Okay. Then it's going to ask me who is the main character in the story, and I know that it's Gillian. Now it's asking me to review the story and put the events in order. So now I'm going to put my events, I'm just going to drag them in order. So this is reviewing the elements of a story, of a fiction story. Okay? So the next one that I'm going to do is also language arts, but it is in seventh grade. So I'm going to go to seventh grade. And it is, this is math. We need to go to language arts. Seventh grade F1, analyze short stories. So now this is a seventh grade skill. I'm going to read the story. And here it is. You might need to scroll down in the story. Okay. Based on the first paragraph, how does Betty feel when he sees the audience? And so he adjusted the stage props as he listened to the audience settle into their seats. He peeked through the crack in the curtains. New York gentlemen and ladies in their finest attire murmured to each other as they read through their programs. Their enthusiasm made Betty's knees shake. He went backstage giving a wide berth to the performers. So to me, he doesn't sound annoyed. He doesn't sound calm. He sounds like he may be starting to panic because his knees shake. Okay. Which quote from the story best supports the idea that Buddy feels afraid when he sees the audience? Now for these, I don't need the story. Here's my quotes. And I'm looking for one that shows that he feels afraid. He peeked through the crack in the curtains. That doesn't mean that he's afraid. Their enthusiasm made Buddy's knees shake. This shows me that he's afraid. He went backstage giving a wide berth to performers. Wide berth just means that he's giving them a big space to walk by. So his knees shaking to me shows that he feels afraid. So now it says review the seventh paragraph. So now I'm going to go to the seventh paragraph. And here it is. Okay. So based on this paragraph, why does Betty feel the need to hide when he is on the street? So what you're going to do now is you're going to do seventh grade F1 after you complete fifth grade G2.